All right. Well, 11.7, as you can see in the top corner, we're going to be talking about correlation and linear regression, stuff that you've seen throughout your time in algebra, at least in Dallas Independent School District, you should have seen this. But today we're going to find out how does the calculator actually work this the regression and uh, can we do it on our calculator here? And the answer is yes. I'm going to go ahead and just re refresh that so it's gone. But that's what we're going to look at. If you want to pull up this calculator, scan this QR code and at the very bottom, near the very bottom, click on your uh, AP statistics link right there and then I'll pull up this calculator. All right. So let's talk about uh, linear regression. There, there's going to be all these different words, but there's only a few of them that I'm really going to spend a lot of time on. First is the correlation coefficient. It's represented by the letter R. It says for n pairs of sample data of the various variables x and y, the correlation coefficient between of R rather between x and y is given by this. And so really, however many samples you have, you have one divided by the samples minus one times times multiply the sum of uh, this is going to be uh, any particular x value in a sample minus the uh, the mean of the x uh, data set divided by the standard deviation of the x data set times whatever the particular uh, element of the y or the second data. And so it's called bivariate because there's two. The second element uh, or the second data set element minus that second element, uh, second data sets mean divided by its standard deviation, which is a, a mouthful and a formula fold. Okay, so that's our formula. Now, there's surely an easier way of doing this. Yes, there is. This calculator will do it for us. So I'll kind of walk you through what's happening. So the first thing we're going to do is on this particular table, as you look at it, there are two different types of data. There's first the years of experience, which I'll represent that by the letter X. And then there's the salary, which would be a Y. And uh, down below, we have a second set. And so it's, again, years of experience and salary, which means it's just a continuation. So I'll write here X and then I'll put C-O-N-T, meaning continued, and then Y-C-O-N-T in parentheses, meaning it's Y continued. So how do we do this with our calculator? What we're going to do is come over to our data set, and I'm going to type in the years of experience in this X. So we have 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1.0, 1 1.0, 1.0, 1.5, 1.5, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, another 2.0. So it looks like four of those, 3.0, 4.0. By the way, you don't have to type in those point zeros if you don't want to, but the point fives you would. And we'll find out in a second if I made a mistake or if I got these in correctly when I type in the Y value. So it should match the same length here. So let's do the Y values now, 52,000. I'm not gonna type in the, ca the comma, 62,000, 57,000, 61,000, uh, 60, 000, 55, 000, uh, 64,000, another 64,000. So these values are adding up here. Oops, 70,000, 66, 74, 74, 80, 75, oops, 75, um, 85, almost done, 89, and 90. Okay, so here's my data here. And if I wanted to zoom fit this, I'll go ahead and click that uh, plus right there. And you see the data, it's being connected by a straight line. If you don't want it to be connected that way, you can like edit it. And so I could do it, um, let me turn it back on first. I could take away the lines in between by taking that and you can just see the data that way. And so I'm gonna do that this problem because that's more what I wanna see is the scatter plot. So there's my scatter plot. Now it says here, a research company conducts a study to determine whether there is a linear relationship between the uh, years of management experience and the annual salary. So we wanna see, does, is this seem like a linear, is there a correlation going on here? And the table below show, shows uh, 20 surveyed managers make a scatter plot. So that's what I just did here and identify the relationship. Well, here's what I can tell you. There is a positive correlation here or positive relationship, meaning that it is related. The more experience you have, the more you tend to work as we go. 
this is X. Remember, X was years of experience. As you go right along the X years of experience, your salary seems to increase. That's the Y axis, the salary. So there is a relationship, and I would call it positive because as you go right, you also go up. It would be negative if you went right, it went down. But this one happens to be So I would say that there is a positive relationship. There is a positive relationship. between the years of um, between years of experience and salary whoops so let me I can interpret it another way as well I can say the more years you work you can expect your salary to increase so there's the relationship it's a positive relationship uh, it says then calculate and interpret the correlation coefficient. So how do you do that? Well, if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom and you go to regression models, you will see that in here we have the values that we need. Okay. So it says calculate and interpret the correlation coefficient. That's the R value. So in this particular problem, the R value, according to the calculator, R equals, it's that 0.9155. Now, if you were wondering, how do I get that? Well, that's basically, if you wanted to get that, you could go uh, and type in this, you know, substitute all the information here to find out that value. I think I might actually have it in this Desmos. Let me just really quickly check at the, near the very bottom. Um, correlation coefficient, correlation coefficient. I'm not seeing it. So maybe I've moved it out of there. Oh, wait, here it is. Correlation coefficient, as you can see it. Uh, I typed it in just like they, they said that length of y minus one, that means that's getting the number, that's getting that 20, that there's 20 samples minus one. So that's the only thing I substituted in for n. The rest of it is just the formula that they gave us and it plugs in all the values and it gets that correlation coefficient. That's how it's created. So anyways, you don't have to go to that. I just wanted to show you that it's there and that would be our correlation coefficient. Now, after seeing me do one, here's what I would like you to do. I would like you to type in uh, their math grade and their overall grade average. You can do this as X and this is Y and see if there is a relationship between the two. And if there is, if it's a positive or negative uh, relationship. And I forgot to talk about this strong and moderate. So a lot of people talk about the strong and moderate uh, based off of how close this number is to one. The closer it gets to one, the stronger it is. If it was one, it would be perfectly strong. It would be uh, a, a straight line. But uh, this one I would call a strong relationship. Uh, let me say strong here, strong positive relationship between, because that R is really over 0.8. If it's over 0.8, we will say it is a strong positive relationship, or I guess it won't necessarily be positive. It could be negative, but it's strong if it's greater than 0.8. And so on this one, I would say it is strong. I'll let you now try your deal well. Pause the video if you need more time.